another quadratic equation, but this time um, it's going to be. Oh fuck, that's not spelled right. Um, it's going to be a equation when factorized. It'll equal the same as if we did the the quadratic equation. So what the equation is is x squared plus 5x plus 6 which equals 0 so in this case we'd go we'd factorize it and then it would equal it would equal um, x plus 2 bracket x plus 3 and if you'd um, like expand this out, it'd, it'd x squared, 2x, 3x, 6, 2 plus 3, 2x plus 3x equals 5x. And then you'd get x equals negative 2 and negative 3. But... If you'd put this equation, this, if you'd put this quadratic equation, which actually proves the quadratic equation too, you'd get you'd, the quadratic equation being negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, you know, we get this, we get the a, we get the b. We get the C from that equation out there. So negative B is X equals negative 5, 5, plus or minus the square root of 5, because B, 5, which would be 25, and then 4 times A, which is 1. And then, uh, which would just equal negative 4 again. And then negative 4 times C, which is 6. So that equals 24. Over 2. Because 2 times A, which is 1. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And then if you were to expand this out again. Simplify it, I mean. You'd go negative 5 plus minus... 1, because 25 minus 24 is 1, over 2, and then again, because um, the square root of 1 equals 1, over 2. But you could, you could leave it like this in the, in, the, in, the, in the exam, and it'd be fine with it, but if you'd want to go further, you'd go x equals negative 5 plus 1 over 2 and negative and x equals oh, x1 and x2 because there'd be two answers negative 5 minus 1 over 2 and then you'd then it'd be um, negative 5 plus 1 which is negative 4 over 2 which is then equal to negative 2 and then we take this down negative 5 minus 1 equals negative 6 over 2 then that equals negative 3 and you got two, your two answers right there and it thus proves, proves the quadratic equation